all right friends welcome back to another video on building real-time messaging platform with laravel and liveware and in the previous video we wrote migrations and different relationship methods so in this video let's start by creating our first liveware component related to messaging so let me open up the terminal and let's do psp artisan make liveware uh, inside of admin slash messages and let me give it a name called list conversation and messages okay and it got created successfully now let me create a route so for that uh, let's go to admin.psp for admin routes and let's create a get uh, route for messages and we'll be using list conversation and messages a liveware component class and for the route name let me give it a name called messages okay now if we visit admin slash messages then it will redirect us to that page so now let's add message link over here as well so for that let me go to aside.blade.psp after users let me paste this and let me change this to messages admin dot messages and if the request is admin slash messages then we'll make that link as active right let me save this and refresh the page and we get it so now let's add a design for listing contacts and messages so for that i'm using admin lt uh, this design related to messages and for the list of contacts i have modified this so to save some time i have already uh, created that file so let me copy everything from here and we'll be pasting that inside of list conversation and messages blade file right so let me remove everything from here and paste that now if i go over here and refresh this page then we'll see this design right it is perfect so now let's make this part dynamic so currently this is static so let's make this part uh, dynamic so to display the list of contacts we are actually displaying the conversations so if i go over here and go to conversation table we have these two conversations and the sender id is 29 which is uh, john and receiver id is another user right so currently we have two conversations so let's make that dynamic and so over here okay so to do that let me go to the top and on this contact list let me minimize this and first of all let me remove this one and let me remove busy warning as well so now let me refresh this and we only have that one user which is statically coming from this one right so now let me go to list conversation and messages component class and from here let's pass conversations okay so conversations calls conversation query where sender id is the authenticated user id right or where receiver id is authenticated user id right and we'll get the list of conversations and we'll pass that conversation on our view so for that we can simply do conversation and let's pass that variable conversations right let's import this class and this got already imported over here first of all let me die and dump conversation to show you and if i refresh this uh, we get two conversations right then this is coming from here uh, where the sender or receiver id is the authenticated user id which is 29 this one and for 29 we have two conversations right and which is fine so let me remove this and let me go to list conversations.play.psp and use for each loop over here for each conversations is conversation and and for is and if i refresh this we'll get these two items right 
so from here let's make this content dynamic and this is the user so for now let's do conversation receiver name right and receiver is the relationship instance and it is actually a user right so we have already created that relationship on uh, previous video so if we go to conversation we have this relationship for receiver right so we are using conversation receiver name and if i refresh this space and we got that those two names right and later we'll modify this for the image as well let's instead of this static image let's do conversation and then receiver and then avatar url and this avatar url is coming from if we go to user.psp then we have already created that uh, accessors right and if i refresh this everything is looking fine right because this user haven't uploaded their profile picture so it is displaying this default image right now let's change this dead as well so conversation will have many messages right so if we go to conversation we have already uh, created that relationship method conversation will has many messages and we can use that over here conversation messages get the last one and we'll get the created a date and we'll format into day month and year right and if i refresh it and it got modified let's do the same for message as well so instead of date we'll use message body so conversation will has many messages get the last one and get the body now if i refresh it we are getting that message here right now let's test this by creating a new conversation so if i go over here and for now uh, let me create a new conversation with this user id right with this sender id so let me copy this and for sender i'm using this 29 and for receiver let me change this to another user let's say 13 and if i come here and refresh the page i'm expecting to see this issue and it is saying that attempt to read property created it on null so if i go over here and over here we are calling that created it attribute and actually we don't have messages related to that conversations right because we just created the conversations and we don't have messages so to fix this issue we can use null safe operator so over here before this arrow we can use a question mark which is a null zip operator this one is the null zip operator and i have also already discussed on this on previous videos as well and if i save this and refresh the page we are getting another issue related to body so we can do the same and if i refresh it we don't get that issue right so now we have three conversations right and it is not displaying message in depth because we don't have messages related to that conversations so now let me go to messages table over here and let me add new message related to that conversation so for that let me copy this one and instead of conversation id 2 we'll be using this 4 let me change this message to hi and we'll be sending as authenticated user which is john which id is 29 right so let me save this and if i refresh this page and we are getting the dead and message as well which is fine so this must for this video and in the next video we'll be displaying the list of messages on a specific conversation so i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one